I don't want to go home yet. No, Melo. Go home. When you get home, do you want to listen to my new rap? For sure. No, I ain't never seen that car right there. Thank you for this opportunity for letting me open up for you. Don't thank me, thank yourself. You earned it. Well, why do I need to talk to him? Because he's mellow. The next big thing, girl. This place ain't do nothing but take from me. And I swear for God, if I would've moved my grandma out of here, I would never came back to this place. All right, look here, superstar mellow. This is how it's gonna go. You got two choices. Now, nah, matter of fact, you got one. You gonna pay me a hundred K just because you're running on my brother, or else. What? You gonna meet your brother. <laughs> One plus one. I know y'all know. S L O W. That spells mellow. Wow, that was really good. I told you I'm the best here. Psych, hold on. Don't make me laugh. I know you're a fan. You want my autograph? Ha ha ha. So funny. I know. I'm the king at this. Clearly, you dreaming, mellow. I obviously won. Mm, you could think. Sarah, mom said come inside. All right. I'll see you tomorrow, mellow. All right. Mellow, I like you. Bye. Dang, bro, it been slow all day. Yeah, I know. There go one right there. You get that one, and I'll get the next one. All right, Pep. It's quiet. Yeah, I know. Too quiet. Hey, bro, that's your little brother right there? What this fool doing? Hey, what you doing? Guess what? What? I just found out Sarah liked me. Just found that out? Yeah. Let me tell you a secret. She been like you. How you know? I know these things. But look, you gotta go home. It ain't safe out here. Man, come on. I don't want to go home yet. I'll stay out the way. No, Melo. Go home. I'll see you when I get there. Hey. Oh, Amaria. When you get home, do you want to listen to my new rap? For sure. All right. Look like one right there. You got this. I ain't never seen that car right there. What's up, are you good? What's up, bro? You ready for the night, man? You ain't ready? Yeah, I'm good. Just some on my mind. I ain't nervous, is it? To be honest, I look. You seen that crowd out there? I never, ever performed in a crowd that big. Hey, some bro, you just gotta go out there, do you? Don't even think about it. What if they ain't feeling me? Like, everybody love you. Me, I'm just an upcoming artist. Everybody ain't meant to feel you, bro. You gotta start somewhere. Like that? Like that. Right. Yeah, bro. Once again, thank you for this opportunity for letting me open up for you. Don't thank me, thank yourself. You earned it. You should feel real proud of yourself. Thank you, bro. That's crazy. I'm well. Turn out, dumb. Feel good about yourself. It's good. Hey, 
and I talked to uh, Huncho Manager. I'm gonna do three more shows with you. You lying, bro. Real? All you gotta say? That was a great opportunity. I'm about to blow. Yeah, yeah that's cool. I don't know. Like, lately, everything been going good for you. It's like everything is finally coming together, you know? Yeah, it's only gonna get bigger. When we do the dates in Miami and then LA, skyrocket. The fan base gonna go up like LA. this. LA. LA, yeah. <sighs> oh, bro. Uh, yo, Auntie had a call when he was on stage. What she wanted? I don't know, answer. Yeah, he knows. What's good, Auntie? Yeah, so good. Wait, man? When? All right, I'll be there tomorrow. What's going on? Everything straight? My grandma died. Man, it's messed up. Miss Jackson used to live right across the street. That's sad. She was such a sweet old lady. Girl, stop lying. Miss Jackson was sweet as I don't know what. But hey, y'all think Mello gonna come back in time for his funeral? Probably not. He ain't been here this whole time. But that's his grandma, though. Why you seem so quiet? You must miss Mello or something. I know you want to see her boo thing. No, he wasn't. Girl, y'all used to walk home from school every day, and he used to carry your boot. Well, that's because we used to live right across the street from each other. And he was just nice. We were just friends. Mm hmm But if I were you, I would try to relight that flame y'all had and be more to friends. No, that's right. Just because y'all some groupies does not mean I'm one. Groupie? Girl, nobody know groupie. And y'all had history. That's the major update from DJ. For real. Look, I'm not worried about Melo or DJ, all right? The only thing I'm worried about is this rally this Sunday. So if you guys are going to help me out, then I got some work to do. Uh, well, excuse me, Miss Martin the King. I'll see you later. Bye. Yeah. Bye, girl. Martin Luther King. <laughs> Hello? You straight? Yeah, I'm straight. All right, look. You're going to the funeral, the gravesite, and the repass. You stand at the house an hour talk, OK? Then you got to go. We got a show in Jacksonville tomorrow. All right, I need you going. We're on a tight schedule. All right. I got you. For real though, I'm serious. You in your hometown, that's where the most hate envious people be at. They ain't got nothing to lose, and you do. So you need to be on your A game. You need to be on point. All right? Tell Bobo to be on his P's and Q's. Said okay, man. Chill out. All right. Sorry for your loss, man. All right. Hey, what's up, nephew? What's up, everything good? Good, good. How you doing? I'm getting through. Yeah, I just want you to know, your grandma was real proud of you. I am too. Thank you, thank you. All right. I Keep doing what you're doing, okay? I got you. All right. Oh, yeah, though. You too. Oh my God, Melo, you're literally my favorite cousin. Can I get a picture with you? Yeah, come on. Thank you. You're welcome.
Well, would you be everything straight? Yeah, I'm good. Just kind of stuffy in here. I think I'm gonna step outside for a second, all right? All right, but I'm coming with you. Nah, you stay here. All right. Can I please have a picture with you? Stop playing. I'll give me help. I'd rather not. Yeah, tight time as usual, and where's all this coming from? Nothing. Um, sorry for your loss. I don't know how much your grandmother meant to you. See you around. <laughs> Wait, I mean, you're leaving already. I was kind of hoping to talk to you. I'll leave tomorrow. No, I just really hate funerals and stuff. Plus, I have a lot of stuff to handle, so safe travels. Yeah. <laughs> you air, ain't it? Yeah, man, everything's straight, man. I'm checking on you. Yeah. Hey, what time we leave tomorrow? I think like around 3. AM and PM. PM. I bet. Let go. So, you didn't talk to me at all? <laughs> Why do I need to talk to him? Because uh, he's mellow. The next big thing, girl. How many times do I have to tell y'all? I don't care about that stuff. Like, at all. <laughs> well, I'm sure Kamara is already plotting. Hey, I'm gonna I'm call you back. Uh, okay. Bye. Yeah, bye. What? Uh, hey, uh, I was just wondering if you wanted to go get some food. Because whatever my folks down there kick, I'm not feeling it. And plus, there's my flight, so I got a little extra time. Do you think you can just up and pop back up and everyone's all over you? Well, I'm not that fanned out, so sorry. Fanned out? <laughs> I was just joking with my best friend. Definitely wasn't expecting this from you. Thought the feeling was mutual. I haven't heard from you since forever, and now you just want to pick off where we left off? Nah. Man, you know how it is? Around here, I just can't take no more. And I DM'd you a few times. How do you respond? DM me? Well, you have my number, and even if I wanted to spend time with you, I couldn't, because I'm too busy. Busy doing what? Activist? Yeah. I'm actually hosting a non-violence rally at the old Heritage Center. You know, if you're a real superstar, you'll come and offer your help. Uh, even if I wanted to come, I couldn't. Gotta catch a flight tonight. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Wait, let me give you my number. No, thank you. <laughs> it's like that? Yeah, it's like that. Everything loaded up? You ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready, but first, first we gotta make a quick stop, real quick. All right, bet that's cool. Let's go. Okay, definitely could use some lights over here. Chairs, table, snack bar. I knew if anybody could say the word, it'll be you. Especially with a determined look on your face. 
But I'm determined to. Hello, what do you want? I just thought I'd give you a second chance to get my number. I told you, you'd just be wasting your time. Sarah, why do you keep acting like that? Stop fronting. I told you, I'm just too busy, all right? I'm trying to save my community, and you should too. You know, this is our home. Home? Nah, this is your home. This place ain't do nothing but take from me. First, my mom with drugs, then my brother. And I swear for God, if I would've moved my grandma out of here, I would've never came back to this place. I hate it here. Well, as much as you hate it here, there are people that are still here that loves you, okay? I used to love you. You know, we could really use your support. Support? Where was my support when? Well, well, well. Even ain't the superstar mellow. What about you back in time? Right? All right, going on. Oh, what? DJ, just stop, all right? He just buried his grandmother. Nah, I ain't hear none of that. You should be telling him no way. Period. You my girl. What? I'm not your girl, all right? Get that through your head. We're done. Man, whatever. You still my girl, but. Why you taking up for these right anyway? This man a sellout. He ain't even a real rapper. <laughs> sellout? I ain't even clean this place as my hood even before I made it. So what the hell are you talking about? Nah, I'm talking about you getting my cousin a life sentence, right? Because he got my brother killed. Man, your brother already knew what he chose when he jumped in the streets, and you do too. Yo, Melo. So what you trying to say? What you trying to say? Everything straight? Everything all right? Man, look at this mad dog on the leash, man. It's all right. I'll catch you later, right? Come on, JoJo, let's ride. Straight. Straight. <laughs> hey, I caught him down bad, Dennis. You seen him? He was scared. Yeah, for sure. But you should have smoked when he said what's good. Man, I would've smoked him right then and now. In front of the girl. But the security guard came, but you know how it is. But I ain't gonna lie to you. His music is kind of fire, though. Nah, he definitely ain't like young boy. He ain't fire, and he a rat. Hey, man, look at this. He at your girl rally. Hey. You see this? Even your girl like him. Yeah, all right, bitch. I find you here? Yeah, you know, since my brother died, this is the only place I've come to find peace. I wrote some of my biggest songs right here. But I thought you'd be with your boyfriend DJ by now. He's not my boyfriend. And I mean, we did date for a while, but he was just too caught up in that gang stuff. And I don't want to have anything to do with that. Hmm. Ever since you left, it's just been getting terrible around here. You know, ABK thinks they can just, like, take over the world now. It's been like that. No, oh, it's worse now. I was thinking about what you said earlier, about how this place only just takes away from you. And I get that. I understand why you never came back. You know, sometimes I wish I could just, like, run away sometimes. You can. You can leave with me. I can't just pick up and leave. I have a whole life here. Oh, yeah, exactly. Tell me what kind of life do you have here? I mean, I... Exactly. There's nothing here but bad times and heartaches. My grandma was the only person I had tied to this place, and now she's gone. I really feel no connection to this. 
You know, it was really hard going to school by myself, no friends. Just because I did the right thing. Yeah. They killed my brother right in front of me. I was seven years old. Seven. It's just not right. I understand. I promise. And if you don't want to go to the rally, I get it. Nah. I'm going to do it. If I can help one more person get out of this place, it's all well done. But I'm only doing it under one condition. What's that? You leave when I leave. I want to, but... What? Was you for real what you said earlier? What did I say? She loves me. Yes, I, I do. But... Hey, you know what? What was your thought? I'll get your answer after the rally tomorrow. All right. Okay. All right, let's go. When I say stop the, you say violence. Stop the. Violence. Stop the. Violence. When I say stop the, you say violence. Stop the. Violence. Stop the. Violence. When you shit like this, man, to left a lot of money on the table. Yeah, nah. I gotta do this. I owe it to him. my mother, my brother, and my grandma to help help someone else let me get out of this town, huh? True. That's what the hood does. Make you feel like you owe it to everybody, but you don't owe nobody nothing. All them long nights in the studios, man, you have a survival remorse. <laughs> survival remorse? It's a mental condition. You feel like you owe them because you made it out and they did it. Nah, it ain't that. I just want to help out. Look, give me 20 minutes. And we can go catch a flight and make it to the show, all right? All right, bet 20 minutes. Yeah. 20 minutes top. 20 minutes. All right. Well, well, well. Look at Melo. What's up? How you been doing? All right, look here, Superstar Melo. This is how it's going to go. You got two choices. Now, nah, matter of fact, you got one. You're going to pay me 100K just because you're running on my brother or else. Or what? You're going to meet your brother. All right, let's see, uh, neither. Bit. Let go, Kobe. Now, we've all lost a family, a friend, to violence before, one way or another. But it's up to us to stop this as a community. As long as the street rules are intact, and the no snitching nonsense, then the thugs and hoods are going to continue to take over our community. Now I have a special surprise for you guys, a glimpse of hope. With the right hard work and the right mindset, we can make it out of here. Help me welcome our hometown hero, Mello. What's up, what's up? It's good to be back, ain't it? How y'all doing? All right, all right, all right. I went to the same schools you go to now. Went to the same playgrounds y'all did. Made some good memories around here, but mostly bad. <sighs> I lost my mom at a very young age due to drugs. And later on down the road, my brother got killed to gun violence. So yeah, I vowed myself to never come back, but something, well, someone. That's led me to standing right in front of you guys today. Now, first off, we must get rid of these gangs and drug dealers. I lost my brother and my mother to the streets. So one way or another, we must get those people off the community. All right, so I will be donating 100,000 to this organization to help cancel all drugs and violence. With that being said, let's leave this on a good note. Can I perform a song for y'all? Yeah! Let's do it.
AI, so I made this song in dedication to my brother. Let me tell y'all a thing of three. It's pronounced K-N-E-G-R-A. Now subscribe. <laughs> Ooh, I cracked myself up. Thanks for watching, because watching me is better than watching TV.